Hello and welcome to another Double Sleeve Review, where today we're looking at the KMC Hypermat Outer Sleeves, a much requested review for how will they do. Also, a massive thank you to everyone for your support recently. We're nearing a thousand subscribers, and when we get to that mark, we're going to do something that a lot of people have been asking for, a sleeve comparison video. So share it with your friends and family, and make sure that we get our subscriber count up there so we can give you a really comprehensive guide to which sleeves are the best on the market. When reviewing outer sleeves, we break things down into five categories. Toughness, shuffleability, foil clarity and opacity, double sleeving and price. We start with toughness and for this we do a stretch test. We grab each side of the sleeve and we pull. Simple as that. Will the plastic bend or will the seam snap? In this instance the seams broke fairly easily. Not as easy as some but certainly didn't give us much resistance at all and no bending at all on the plastic. Shows that the actual plastic is very tough but the seams not so much. It happened over and over again, and unfortunately, not a great toughness showing. Next, we look at shuffleability, and for that, we double sleeve with the KMC outers, a bunch of cards, and then I rough shuffle a thousand times. Rough shuffling literally means slamming the cards into each other, the thing I've done every single time I test an outer sleeve, and I do it a thousand times. It is a lot of work and it is brutal. And for these sleeves, I have had probably the worst outcome that I have ever seen. As you can see in these images, a load of sleeves split in the seams. And this is a, a fairly unusual occurrence. Some sleeves we've tested before have split one, maybe two sleeves a little bit. These completely ripped up. You would probably have to have stopped shuffling after a couple of hundred shuffles. Don't get me wrong, I'm very aggressive when I'm shuffling like this and the intent is to try and put them through a really tough life in a short space of time. However, I do the same thing with all sleeves and these sleeves, for whatever reason, have proved to uh, yeah, not survive very well at all. Um, it's probably because the seams are not that strong and they're quite thick and so there's a lot of area when they are being shuffled together. Either way, you can see here, not the best showing. Next, we move on to foil clarity and opacity. And as you can see here in the foil card, we put inside the sleeve. And um, with a matte sleeve, you tend to find that the foil is dulled a little bit anyway. Um, uh, however, not too bad. Some of the matte sleeves we've tested in the past have been pretty bad. These ones are actually reasonably good. Um, nothing super special. They don't enhance the foil in any way, but you know, they're okay. As for opacity, the sleeves we've got here are obviously green and therefore pretty dark and so the uh, the sleeve is enough um, um, opaque uh, to prevent any of the cards showing through. However, if it matters to you that much, you're going to a tournament or something um, or you're using specifically double-sided cards, um, you're going to want to check every single colour because the lighter colours tend to be uh, potentially less opaque. Although with these, they seem pretty good and I would say anything of an equal darkness level, you should be absolutely fine. Next, we move on to double sleeving. And actually, this is where these sleeves are great. They feel fantastic to single sleeve. And you know what? We tested with a bunch of different inner sleeves. They are a fantastic sleeve to inner sleeve with. We don't get very much problem with pretty much any of our inner sleeves uh, when sleeving. We don't have any much ride up. We don't have uh, a particularly bad experience at all. Um, and even with the thicker sleeves, such as the Dragon Shield resealables, you can see here, they fit perfectly, um, really nice experience, and actually they feel really nice. So if you just want something to sleeve your cards in, maybe these would be a fantastic option. Next we look at price, and strangely, these sleeves were fairly hard to get hold of in the UK. We had to pay £8 for 80. That equates to £10 for 100, um, and when you compare that to other sleeves, that is a pretty expensive amount to pay. Now, you may find that in your area, um, it is a lot cheaper. We always make sure uh, to tell you to do your own research on price before making any decisions. However, if you have to pay a similar amount wherever you are, um, that is an awful lot. So check out some of the other hour sleeves as well and make sure that you're comfortable paying that kind of price. So there's your review of the KMC Hypermats. Um, 
What do you think? Did we wildly miss the mark? Um, am I brutally unfair in my judgments on these sleeves? Or um, are they just a little bit too expensive for not the best sleeves? Let me know in the comments below. As I said at the start of the video, we are bowled over by the rate that people are subscribing to this channel at the moment and enjoying these reviews. A massive thank you to anyone who still watches towards the end, which is like one or two of you. Uh, really appreciate it, thank you so much. Um, and let us know in the comments below what other reviews we should do. Thank you so much, we'll see you in the next one, bye.